Well, I think this is uh, the update video of my two-year-old uh, young box turtles, October 28, 2015. I'm going to do a little feeding video and I'm going to put in a few angleworms and uh, see how they respond to them. Here's the first uh, angleworm. Here's the second angleworm. Here's the third. We'll just let them go like that for just a moment. These are the only two that have decided they wanted to try to feed. I'll just move the worm over so that the bigger one can possibly get interested in getting it. Right now we'll just watch these two fight over the worms that are here. Looks like going for the uh, one that's passed over there. And this is the third third one wants to get that one that's getting away in the crack in the plastic there. They can see it. Oh man. They're looking like they haven't eaten since this morning. Yeah, if I gave them four uh, night crawlers this morning, not big night crawlers, but uh, small, medium sized night crawlers I'd say. Certainly not 10 inches long on the pine crawlers. Anyway, well, I didn't even give you the video footage of this one eating that first worm, but uh, she just finished that while I wasn't on camera. Up cam of box turtles eating worms. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? You'd rather go after the worm that's in another turtle's mouth. These turtles are going to feed like this all winter. They're not going to be dormant at all. I'll get another worm out of my container here. Drop it in front of this little guy here. That one does to it. Oh, yeah. Very much interested in that worm. And these two are just going to go after this one worm here. They have very sharp beaks. One of the things I'd like to show you is, uh, I've shown this before online, but how much these guys love oyster shell. I haven't fed, him or fed them oyster shell for a few days. And they're not interested in it, they're just going to finish off the little worms that they have in their mouths. Young box turtles have normally very large appetites and I just want to say that if your box turtle isn't feeding uh, voraciously when the temperature is kept around uh, 78 to 85 degrees, uh, there's, uh, your turtle might be trying to hibernate or as to, you know, just, uh, oh look at that. <laughs> You might be trying to hibernate. Normal not feeding activity occurs with uh, box turtles for months when they're uh, going into hibernation. And my turtles actually, I think, go without eating for six months out of the year here in eastern Oregon. These guys certainly have beautiful shells, don't they? There's that small one. Each one of them has a distinct, uh, beautiful pattern on their shells. And I think that the uh, turtle I call Speedy is a uh, ornate box turtle, or at least a mixture of ornate box turtle and uh, three-toed box turtle. Uh, with mostly just ornate, just not very uh, brilliant pattern on it. And uh, Ornetta lays eggs, and I believe that her eggs are, are quite fertile. This year I was able to dig up 
uh, five eggs successfully, and uh, I dug it. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. He's got bit that turtle's foot. I tell you what, that is sure a violent uh, place to be. Only safe way is to have your feet tucked in. Yeah, they probably can withstand quite uh, severe bites, but this is a reason I think that they've bitten each other's tails offshore. If they're males, I don't know what that's going to do for them, uh, you know, as far as reproduction, but it's not my problem. I'm changing my uh, habitat over uh, unless I can give these uh, little box turtles uh, to good homes. I'm going to just have to increase the size of my habitat outside. They'll spend the winter next year outside. Oh, got one more worm. Actually, I have a lot more than one more worm. There we go. Gosh, they have a hard time eating. I can tell you, they're such, you know, they bite and they miss like that. It's just amazing that uh, they've even practiced for almost two years now. They still bite each other's feet, and they know what they want to bite the head of that worm. got in the frame. Thinking about getting more worms out if you guys don't mind and I'm just gonna film those and reach into this uh, little container I have worms and uh, get one and drop it in. Put in that other turtle shell. going to bite that turtle's foot, I think. Oh, he did. Ow, 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 ow. Gosh, are they the dumbest or meanest critter? Gosh, it's a shame to have all these four box turtles in the same enclosure, you know, but they live together and that one that just got bit is going after food. They, they're in like a feeding frenzy and uh, I guess it's a very competitive world out there. You know, box turtle want to have a lot of food. I'm going to give them some more worms. Just drop another one in, and uh, there's another one for those two to fight over. can't overemphasize how important I think oyster shell is to your box turtle that's kept in captivity. Um, they have the opportunity to bite and chew on this uh, oyster shell that I dropped in here and you can see it. It's a very inexpensive uh, supplement for your turtle's diet and I believe it allows them to sharpen their own beak, their biting uh, mandible will overgrow and get to be a very deformed looking uh, like almost a shovel-like addition to their, uh, under their nose, and it's really a, an awful uh, thing that can be prevented, I believe, by oyster shell or cuddle bone uh, from squid. Well, this concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you uh, like the video, subscribe. Uh, if you don't like it, make comments, or if you have any questions or uh, want to find out if you really want to have a, a box turtle or not in your life. They seem to be a very long-term commitment, and they grow on a guy. I like these guys, and 
if I don't find them good homes, I will provide them a good home for the rest of their life. But I don't think I'm going to uh, attempt any more uh, breeding projects.